Ahlan wa sahlan and welcome to this video. I hope it's gonna be good lighting because I'm gonna show what I got for plants. So I have this whole tray of plants here and I thought I'm just gonna do a haul of all the plants that I got. These plants are like for outdoor. Uh, I went to uh, like a garden center which have a ton of different plants like that are just for one season. Uh, so yeah, I am gonna show uh, these all plants are like gonna go outdoor uh, on the yard and they are also only like flower, they only gave off flowers uh, one summer and then it's like they are finished. Uh, however, some of the plants I'm like wondering if they might last um, for a while into the autumn so I might be able to take them back in. but. I'm just gonna start off and show what I got. So this one, the first plant is just this uh, climbing plant and it, as you can see it's already super long. So <laughs> it, and it has these leaves and I don't think this one is actually gonna have any flowers in particular but the steam is actually a little bit pinkish. So I thought that if I have this one against some stones and stuff outdoor, it's gonna look really nice. And if I keep it in a pot, I will be able to move it around if I would need to. And I really like the fact that you get so much uh, like plant for the money when you're buying one that is climbing. And also that it really is covering if you have like ugly pot or if you have something else you want to cover, you know, that you get a lot of plant. And this one, as you can see, it has already grown so much in the garden shop. So it was like, yeah, it's already like flourishing totally, even if it's just leaves. So this was the first plant and I think I'm going to have it, as you can see, it's already hanging. So it's going to go somewhere where it can hang. So the pinkish tone of the steam and then the green leaves, it's just perfect match. Another plant, uh, which is more color. So what I think I will do now, because I have this whole tray here, uh, I think I'm just gonna go over the plants that are like non-eatable plants. And then I will take the ones that actually give some fruits and stuff. So the second plant that I got was actually these colorful um, flowers. As you can see, they look so similar in the color to hibiscus flowers and um, I really like to make hibiscus tea and also hibiscus is like a flower that is growing so much in the Middle East so that is one of my favorite flowers but this one is just reminding of those types of pinkish um, color flowers that hibiscus also is so this one is just gonna uh, give off flowers for one season and then it will sort of die the whole plant but uh, it's gonna go out in, I guess in some pot. And I have a plan that I'm gonna have these and then some white flower. Um, so that I also got, I will show you what it is. I'm actually wondering where, where that flower went. Hmm, maybe, okay, I will show you in a second. But um, these, they are really like large in the leaves and it has like kind of, it will attract a lot of uh, insects and like bees and stuff so it's gonna be a lot of uh, you know insects around them as well but I really like them and because of the color is so bright and like fun so in uh, like uh, near to these uh, flowers I was thinking of keeping something white so and these were really inexpensive they are not that expensive at all to actually buy uh, but it's because they all <laughs> only is uh, flowering for one season and then you sort of have to get rid of them. So I got this one. This is like similar in the uh, color, not in the color, what am I saying, in the flower type of uh, style. But it's a lot smaller and it has a lot more like, you know, flowers, but they are tinier and a lot like more whimsical type of look. And I thought that if I add this one together with the pinkish and uh, maybe I have two of these pinkish flowers and then the white one, it's gonna look kind of nice. So that is one intention I have to 
make a flower pot with this combination and have it outdoor in a pot that I can just lift around whenever I want to have some flowers. And as I said, it's going to give quite a lot of insects and just look very nice. Then I think I have two more uh, flowers. Uh, the first one, I really like this one. <laughs> so this one is like a white flowers and it's a sort of also a little bit climbing type of style on this uh, flower because it's so like sort of give off these long uh, branches in all directions and the flowers are almost like climbing on the stems and they are like white tiny little flowers I don't know if the camera is going to zoom in this but uh, this one I don't know exactly where I'm going to keep it I think I will make another flower pot and have some other type of plants and maybe it's hanging down or something uh, in some more like orangey color or something and yeah because this one is quite large in comparison to this other one that I show you this one is like smaller this one is larger but it is looking really nice I have like a black uh, type of uh, pot that is like kind of oldish looking and it's black and I think with this type of flower that is more like smaller but it still has some white in it it's gonna look really nice in combination with that so I will see what I will do but yeah, I really like this uh, like flower and actually when I was looking at this one this one was all, almost sold out so it seemed to be a very popular flower then my last flower that I got is actually a chocolate smelling flower very unique and yeah it has currently only two flowers and yeah this is the plant i will show you first what it looks like so i will try and take it a little bit backwards so this one has what should i say it has like some dark brown colored flowers which with which looks like chocolate i'm assuming but the smell of these flowers is exactly like chocolate it has that form of um, what should I say? Yeah, just chocolate smell, you know? So it's a very cool type of flower. And I would say that the flower color is like really dark red, but it almost looks black in this camera, but it's more like dark red. But I thought that it's still like dark red brown, but I thought that it looks kind of modern in some way. And I have some stones outdoor that I think this type of flower is just gonna look really nice to uh, keep on that uh, sort of stone uh, trail that I have going on outdoor. And also, as you can see, these uh, stems to the flowers, they are really like step and like tall. So I think that eventually I will be able to cut off some of these flowers and actually put them into a vase and keep them indoor. And seemingly this one is gonna have a lot of flowers popping up in the next coming months. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a nice plant. And whenever I walk by it, I can just take a smell and <laughs> like, um, because it look, uh, as I said, it smells exactly like chocolate. And when I saw this one, it was not even expensive. To be honest, among all of the plants that I got, I think this one, because you get so much flower, and this one is like the best uh, flowers that I got because this one, as you can see, it has so much flower for the money. And this one, you are able to, first of all, you get the smell and you will be able to cut off the flowers and put it into a vase. And it's also a very like large flower uh, type of thing going on. So this is like a lot for the money versus these. These are not so expensive, they are very inexpensive, but at the same time, uh, for some reason I feel like you get less money, because you cannot do so much with these. Uh, once they have flower out, you have to sort of just remove them and wait for another one to show up. So this one is not the greatest, but they even have these in Dubai, in some of these uh, public pots of flowers, they tend to have like hundreds of them in them, and I don't know. I just like the uh, specific color because that's what something I've seen in Dubai. So, yeah. And also this one, even if this one, this one was a little bit more expensive compared to this one, um, but 
I wouldn't say that this one is so much flower for the money, but it is a very nice form of flower. This one was like, I don't know, it was less expensive, but it wasn't like anything special, but it's just gonna add up something extra when you combine it with something like, that looks like this. So it, you will have like a nice, you know, combination. Those were all the flowers. Now let's move on to the eatable stuff, which I'm kind of excited about because I'm a vegan. So the first one that I got, eatable kind of plant, is actually this squash plant. Now this one, the steam, I'm kind of afraid that it's going to break because then obviously the whole plant is gonna go to waste. But this one has to grow on the land and it has to be quite large, the space for it, because it's gonna sprout out these um, cucumber looking squashes uh, but squash is very good as a, a vegetable and you can do so many things with it so I thought I will get one of these you can also eat the flowers that are sort of yellowish kind of orange and you can yeah do some kind of uh, nice stuff with it but anyway so I got one of these plants I should probably get one more but I thought that because I don't have the vegetable sort of garden space <laughs> ready yet. I don't want to get more plants than what I will be able to actually plant in the soil. So one plant for now is perfectly fine. It will demand a lot of like uh, nutritional stuff into the soil so it actually will uh, grow these huge uh, like squash and stuff. But anyway, next thing uh, is actually two tomato plants. <laughs> So I had one uh, like alternative here. I could get like a, um, a pot with these um, tomato plants that give off these small uh, sherry tomatoes or I could get two of these uh, large um, like tomatoes, uh, these types of plants. These grow really tall and as you can see what you need to do already is that when it is sprouting these um, you see I have uh, the steam here and then I have one branch and then there is one coming here in between. What you have to do is actually to remove this one because otherwise it's gonna take too much energy from the plant so I will have to remove those. So this one can grow kind of tall so eventually if it grows too tall you have to cut it off so it doesn't just overgrow whatever you have for its base. I'm gonna keep this one outdoor, but for now, because it's not super warm yet, I need to take it in in the evening and sort of um, take it out in the morning or keep it indoor for most of the day. But if you ever have smelled a tomato plant, you will know that it smells exactly like tomatoes, but more intense and it's a really nice type of smell. So anyway, this one is already having some flowers and the flowers for tomato plants are yellow and this is where the fruit is gonna come from so I will have to keep these outdoor but every now and then I will have to remove these uh, branches that is sticking up here between the steam and one already branch so yeah that was one and the second one I also going, gonna do the same so I will remove some of these um, small um, branches that is sticking up here between I think that is it. This one is a little bit, I think I need to repot it because here I can see at the bottom of the steam, it just looks like almost the uh, roots are showing. So this one needs to be repotted, repotted and the same thing with other um, tomato plants. But they are gonna go outdoor. I need to find some solution to keep them <laughs> like protected from the weather and all these things and keep them kind of uh, hydrated with moist because tomato plants like to be more in a garden house rather than just being outdoor in the in the dry air. Uh, then I also got some sage and this one, can I try and just remove this one because it has a tag and when I was in this garden house shop they had sage uh, as a flower and I asked the lady in the shop if it was eatable and she was like no this specific sage is only for like you know decoration as a flower and instead I choose one and I think this is a good recommendation if you intend to actually use it for eating or like making tea or anything else with the herb to get a sage that is 
specifically the herb and not like just uh, some combination of flower and herb. So this one is eatable eventually and I actually think because the prices on the herbs was a little bit expensive because they don't grow them themselves so all the flowers I show you up until now and the tomatoes and stuff is actually something that is like uh, cultivated in the uh, garden house where I went and bought them so that is a good thing to do because then you know where they're coming from you know so you know if the, how they was you know cultivated and just the you know the area where they're from so this is sage um, and herbs I think I'm gonna buy a little bit more herbs in the supermarket because I will show you one before I continue with the sage I will show you this one this is a Moroccan herb Moroccan mint uh, that I got in the supermarket and it has just branched off and got so tall I have cut it off in half like half of the seams I cut off and put it into a bundle and hanged it up so as you can see it got really thick steams and it still is growing and this one was not even expensive at all so I think what I'm gonna do with some of the herbs that I'm intending on having is actually buy them in the supermarket and maybe repot them eventually and just let them grow so yeah and I really like the style of this one when I put it into this lantern it looks very Moroccan and it smells amazing because it is mint Moroccan um, but I keep it indoor so this one as I said this is sage and I have some soil here on the floor that I need to remove it actually looks kind of dryish I don't know why it's hanging like this now uh, does it need any water maybe I need to put some water in it because <laughs> it's not really um, as you can see it's like looking a bit like uh, so I think I need to put some water in it, but yeah, this is sage that is possible to actually eat. Maybe I put back this um, sort of holder of the leaves kind of thing, because it seems to be quite useful, particularly with this plant. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the ones this one is supposed to be harvested, Like, uh, but I think I can make tea. I do really like sage tea like dry leaves with sage is really nice to make a tea of it's very like strengthening um, kind of um, if that gives any associations it just feel like it's a strengthening kind of tea uh, so and also you can do like burn sage as incense and stuff but that need to be really dried so yeah that is the herb on the one that I got because as I said I think I'm gonna buy more herbs they are less inexpensive in the supermarket so I might buy one more of these Moroccan herbs. So that is all. That is all that I got and I'm kind of um, happy with them. I have to take care of them, like you said, to ensure they are in some good solution spaces because obviously they're gonna grow and uh, during the week I don't have the same amount of time because I'm at work, so I need to do something uh, you know, I cannot spend too much time just taking care of the plants. But this one, I really like this one. I'm gonna put it out now and let them be out in the sun and try and find some pots and stuff for them. So I'm gonna end this video here, but yeah, I just wanted to share some of the plants that I would keep for the summer.